my turn to look. Wow, this is so cool. I can see the stars and planets. They're so far away. I want to see too. Give it to me. It's my turn now. I wish a miracle would happen and we could go to space. I'd love to see the planets with my own eyes and find out what they're really like. <laughs> if we flew into space, we could show all our friends and tell them about the different planets. Maximilian, some kind of fiery ball is flying right at us. What is it? I'm scared. Let me see. Don't be scared. I can protect us. I'm already seven years old. Wow, what is it? Greetings, Maximilian and Versalia. Was it you who sent signals that you want to fly into space and see everything with your own eyes? Yes, that was us. Yes, that was us. And let's not waste any time. If you want to discover the secrets of the planets, climb aboard my ship and buckle up. An amazing adventure is waiting for us. Wow, a real spaceship. We're ready, Captain Astro. Time to take off. Dear friends, my name is Captain Astro, and today my helpers Versalia and Maximilian and I will tell you about the sun and the planets that orbit around it. Look, this is the solar system, and the most important part here is, of course, the sun. The sun is a huge and very hot star at the center of the solar system, which is why it's called solar. Let's fly closer to the sun and have a chat with it. Actually, we can't fly too close to the sun because it's super hot and could burn everything. But today, just for us, the sun wanted to talk and answer our questions. Hello, sun. Are you really made of fire? Hi there, my little friend. I'm very hot and bright, of course, but not exactly like regular fire. I'm full of billions of explosions that flare up and burst out every single second. Sweet sun, would we freeze without you? Absolutely! I actually warm the whole solar system, but you can't come too close to me. I'm really, really hot. How did you come to be, and how old are you? I appeared about 4.6 billion years ago, which is a really, really long time ago. My parents were dust and gas. Have you always been this big? Oh no, little Versalia. I used to be tiny, just like a child. I grew little by little until I became a huge star. I'm still growing even now. But for now, my little friends, it's time for you to fly on. An amazing journey to my planets awaits you. And we're not saying goodbye, because I'll always shine for you. Thank you, son. We love you. And I love you too. Captain Astro, take the kids to my first planet, Mercury. Of course, sir. And here's Mercury, the fastest planet and the closest one to the sun. Yo-ho, hi, I'm Mercury. I race around the sun faster than anyone else. Are you as hot as the sun? During the day, yes, but at night I cool down and become super cold, like ice because I can't hold on to the heat. Whoa, that's like a cold frying pan after it's been on the stove. <laughs> and I'm not just the fastest, I'm also the smallest planet. You're always spinning. Why? I have a special orbit. An orbit is the path I follow as I move. When I go around the sun twice, I spin around myself three times. Wow, you're so fast. Well, it's time for us to fly on. Say hi to Venus for us. Venus is the second planet from the sun. People also call her Earth's sister, but ha ha ha, a very hot sister. Oh, what visitors from far away. Be careful, it's really hot here. I'm hotter than Mercury. Even hotter than Mercury? But you're farther from the sun. My atmosphere is like a thick blanket that traps all the heat inside. That's why I'm like a real oven. Do you have any water? Oceans? Seas? Rivers? Lakes? Maybe a long time ago, but now it's just clouds and volcanoes. And here's something else, kids. On Venus, one single day lasts longer than an entire year on Earth. Can you imagine that? Now where are we heading next? To planet Earth. Your home. Let's go. Goodbye, Venus. See you again, my little friends. And here's Earth, a living and magical planet, your home. Why living and magical? Hello, my children. I'm called Living because I'm the only known planet with life. But why do you have air, water, animals, and us? I have the perfect spot. Not too close to the sun, not too far. My atmosphere is like a soft scarf that protects everyone living on me. 
Is it true that you're the most beautiful planet? Beauty, my dear children, is in the eye of the beholder. But I really do have mountains, oceans, forests, animals, and most importantly, you, <laughs> humans. If you take care of nature, you'll take care of me, your home, because I love you very much. Our favorite viewers, now I have three space riddles for you. Here's the first one. Which planet is closest to the sun and the fastest? A. Venus B. Earth C. Mercury The correct answer is Mercury. Here's the second riddle. Which planet is the hottest? A. Earth B. Venus C. Mercury Great job. Of course, it's Venus. And here's the third riddle. Earth is A. A living, green, and magical planet. B. A planet that's Mercury's sister. C. A fiery and hot planet. You're absolutely right. The answer is A. Earth is a living, green, and magical planet. Great job, young explorers. Now let's fly to the red planet. Do you know which planet that is? I know! It's Mars. I saw it in my space book. Hooray! Hooray! I want to know, are there any Martians on Mars? I'm really excited too, because Martian secrets of the red, mysterious planet Mars await us. And then the giant Jupiter. Now we're flying to the place with dust storms, robots, and the biggest hurricane in the solar system. Welcome to Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. It's called the Red Planet. Hi, I'm Mars. I'm red not because I'm angry, but because of rust and dust. Is it true that rivers used to flow here? Scientists think so. A long time ago, I might have had water. You're a desert, but a beautiful one. Are there any Martians? None have been found yet, but robots are working on me, searching for signs of life. By the way, kids, the tallest mountain in the solar system is also on Mars. It's Olympus Mons. Then, Red Mars, if anyone finds signs of life on you, send us a signal. We'll be waiting for it eagerly. Safe travels! Don't be afraid of Jupiter. Even though he's the biggest, he's very kind. And here's Jupiter, the fifth planet from the sun and the biggest giant in our solar system. Hi, friends. Be careful. I'm big but friendly. Wow, you're huge. How many Earths could fit inside you? About 1,300. I'm the king of planets. And what's that huge spot on you? That's a hurricane. It's been raging for hundreds of years. People call it the Great Red Spot. Now, here's another space riddle. Which planet is the biggest in the solar system? A. Earth B. Jupiter C. Mart Of course, it's Jupiter. He's about 11 times wider than Earth. Great job, team! Now we're off to rings, ice, and gas mysteries because we're heading to Saturn, the planet that's truly one of a kind with its rings. Whoa, Saturn has rings. I really want to see Saturn. It amazes me with its rings. They're so beautiful. Wow, wow. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and a real beauty among the planets, thanks to its rings. Welcome, dear visitors. Do you like my rings? They're amazing. It's like a real ring, only gigantic. What are they made of? Ice, rocks, and dust. Millions of pieces spin around me like they're dancing in a circle. Saturn is a gas giant. It doesn't have a solid surface and is very light. If there were water, it could float. Saturn, you're so romantic, but it's time for us to go to Uranus. Don't waste time. Morning will soon come on Earth. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It's cold and unusual, spinning on its side. Hello, I'm a little strange, but that makes me special. Why do you spin like that? Scientists think another planet hit me a long time ago. Since then, I've been spinning on my side. You're so blue. Is that water? No, it's a gas in my atmosphere called methane. It, it gives me this color. Uranus is one of the coldest planets. The temperature can drop to minus 224 degrees Celsius or minus 435 degrees Fahrenheit. Super cold, right? And now, another space riddle, dear viewers. Which planet has the most noticeable rings? A. Uranus B. Jupiter C. Saturn 
That's right. Saturn is the king of rings. Excellent work, astronauts. And the last planet waiting for us is the distant Neptune in the solar system. Let's hurry to Neptune. I've heard it has the fastest winds. We're heading to the icy world of Neptune. Today, Maximilian and Versalia will fly to the farthest planet Neptune. And then, I'll take you back home. Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet from the Sun, a true ice giant. Greetings, young star travelers. You've come far. Wow, your clouds are amazing. They move so fast. Here, the strongest winds in the solar system blow. Why are you so blue? That's because of the methane gas in my atmosphere. I'm like an ocean in space. Neptune has 14 moons. The biggest one is Triton. It moves in the opposite direction. I'm the farthest and very cold. You can't stay here long. You'd freeze. Safe travels back. Well, here you are back. How did you like my kingdom? Incredible. We got to meet all the planets. We visited hot Venus, icy Uranus, and even the windy farthest planet, Neptune. Wonderful! Remember, every planet is special, and I'm just happy I can warm you all. And even though our journey has come to an end, there are still many stars and discoveries ahead. And now, my dear viewers, the last space riddle. Which planet is the farthest from the sun? A. Uranus B. Saturn C. Neptune D. Mercury Correct. Of course, it's Neptune. Congratulations, team. You've traveled through all the planets. Be proud of yourselves. Thank you, Captain Astro. That was magical. Goodbye, Solar System. See you next time. Space isn't just about distant stars. It's the place where dreams begin. Thank you for traveling with us, our dear friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our brand new adventures.